Hi, I'm Chef Pete, and I'm here today in Harris Teeter's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a grilled steak salad with green beans and blue cheese. The cut of meat we're going to use today is going to be the strip loin. It's one of my most favorite cuts of beef. It's got great flavor, nice marbling on the inside, pretty tender piece of meat. There's a lot of fat on the outside, but it's just the little speckles in, inside here that are great. Um, we're going to take this, start off by seasoning this with some kosher salt. You want to make sure that your meat tastes real good, so we're going to put plenty of salt on here. Don't be afraid to, to season your meat well. You know, it may look like a lot, but really when it comes down to it, this is going to have so much flavor, but it's not going to taste salty. Then some fresh cracked black pepper. So we're going to cook these from start to finish on this grill. This will take approximately 12 minutes, 6 minutes per side. After about 3 minutes, I'll turn them so we can get some nice cross hatches on there. And then after another 3 minutes, we'll turn them over. So the salad that we're going to put together today is using arugula as the main green. Now if you've never tried arugula before, it's got a great peppery flavor. Not really spicy, but just a just nice hint. I wouldn't even say that it's extremely bitter, but it's that bitter peppery flavor that really goes well. But we have these cherry tomatoes here. These cherry tomatoes are going to add some sweetness to counterbalance that. Then we've got the salty cheese, the blue cheese. We've got salty olives. The balsamic vinegar that goes in here is actually on the sweet side. And you, the textures too. You've got great texture in these crisp green beans. So these were just par cooked maybe for about four or five minutes. It sets some color, makes them a little more tender. So we're going to mix all that together. And you can use chunks of tomatoes, whatever type of tomato you really like the best. I put some of these olives in. A little bit of blue cheese. Now you don't want to put it all in because you're going to want to top it off and some of the green beans here. And you're going to want to just give it a good toss. Mix it up real well. Okay, so now these have been, been cooking about six minutes. Three minutes and then turned. Now we're going to turn them over. So again, we want to cook these pretty even on both sides. So it cooks the same amount from the top and then flip it over same amount from that bottom. Look at that. It looks good. Got some nice caramelization going on here which is going to be some great flavor and that's the only way to achieve that is having a hot griddle pan or a grill because you can do this outside on your grill too. Okay these steaks have been on for about 11-12 minutes. I'm liking the way they feel. Probably about 130 degrees, 135 degrees. Nice medium rare. We're going to remove them. Set them aside, put them in a pan, and we're going to have to let them rest for a good five to seven minutes before we start slicing into them. And now's the time to start finishing off this salad. And typical vinaigrettes are going to be about a three to one ratio. So about one part, maybe a half a cup of vinegar to one and a half cups of uh, oil. And that can go back and forth a little bit. Maybe the acidity level in the one vinegar is a little higher, so you want to use a little less, or it's not as strong. Maybe it's orange juice. You want to use a little bit more. But there's that, that typical ratio that you can start off with. So we're going to take these two and whisk them together. And they're going to separate. Because there's nothing really here that's going to hold them together. But it's all right that it separates. Just We're going to pour it on, and then right before we serve it, we're going to toss it again. So we're just going to dress the salad. And you put a little bit at a time. Give it a nice mix. And then we'll plate this up. Now you can serve this family style or you can serve this into individual uh, salads. I'd like to just put the salad in the bowl. Then we're going to put some of the toppings on. Just a little bit more of everything that we have here. And again, you know, it comes down to 
You can follow this recipe, but you can, you know, make some changes. If you like a lot of olives, you put more olives on. If you don't really care for the blue cheese, you just maybe put a little bit in or, or just pull it out altogether. And some tomatoes. Put a couple of those on. Then we'll stick this aside. And then our meat's rested. So now we're going to slice the meat. You want to cut it to small bite-sized pieces. And then it's a pretty tender piece of meat, so you can actually cut these a little thicker, half inch. You could cut them thinner if you want, but I like a good, good thick piece here. Easy to chew through. See how that's got a beautiful color on the inside. So then you're going to take this steak and just lay it across the salad. I'm Chef Pete here in Harris Teeter's Kitchen, and this is a grilled strip steak salad with green beans and blue cheese. Enjoy.